All right, which of the following is your most likely diagnosis? So pretty straightforward question. And looks like we are looking at kidney, okay. kind of nephrotic, nephrotic. Okay. We have a 30 year old woman presenting to clinic with a two week history of increased fatigue, generalized edema and dark urine. Labs reveal proteinuria, hematuria, decreased serum complement. And renal biopsy shows mesangial cell proliferation, thickened glomerular basement membrane, and immune complex deposition in a tram track appearance. Okay, so tram track is going to be your member, no proliferative. That's just one of your buzzwords. Um, but we can rule out minimal change because she's 30. That's okay. something you see in kids. Okay. And then what, um, what, um, what do people usually pee out? Is this, remember there's two types of renal disease or glomerular disease. What are those two types? Yeah. Uh, nephritic versus nephrotic. Okay. What's the difference? So nephrotic is going to have very high, uh, protein in the okay. urine. I think it's usually above or is the cutoff. I can't, I can't remember what the actual unit let, is, use, but let's use this. Let's use our assistant nephrotic syndrome protein urine cut off let's see above 3.5 over 24 okay. hours so okay perfect okay and then so focal segmental glomerular sclerosis i can't remember exactly do you remember what the risk factors for this was um, I can't, I believe that one's your spike and dome appearance. That was usually how they describe it. I believe so. Um, rather than having like your, uh, plumerior basement membrane thickened, you know, consistently you'll see kind of, uh, well, focal segments sure. as the name suggests. Sure. Yeah. So, so I like the breakdown, right? So, uh, breaking down where sometimes, you know, when you see it as one, it's kind of overwhelming. But, you know, yeah. they name it kind of similar to what they see on a, you know, either, you know, a microscope or whatnot of a biopsy, mm -hmm. right? And so if you have focal area sclerosis, that's literally what you're seeing, right? And then, yeah. right, membrano proliferative, meaning the, the thickened basement membrane. So that kind of helps you there. Yeah. Right. And then also you can kind of say membranous nephropathy, right? So, you know nephrotic syndrome right and then um iga nephropathy right so um mm -hmm. just kind of different things you can kind of think about as you do it of course but yeah, yeah looking at something it's nice you know when they give you a specific thing or aka a buzzword mm -hmm. but just you know sometimes they only give you risk factors or they only give you oh yeah. they pee out blood and they do drugs or you know they they you know pee out protein but they're young right and so sometimes mm -hmm. they don't give you buzzwords just make sure you always put it down to a um clinical standpoint too yeah. Oh, yeah. Or like a IGA, you usually see that after like a illness, it'll yeah. pop up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. So that's going to be kind of your IGA, right? Burgers, right? Which is, mm -hmm. you know, um, I always remember it's kind of like an autoimmune issue, right? So you get yeah. an infection, your body's fighting off the infection, but at the same time, right, you have an autoimmune kind of reaction that it also affects your kidneys, right? Um, which is not yes. normal, right? And so um, things to think about for sure. But oh, yeah, I messed up my spike and dome. Yeah, spike and dome membranous. is going to be membranous, right? But the one of the keys with how you remember kind of your focal segmental glomerular sclerosis is mm -hmm. going to be your risk factors. Because um, just remember on these, I, I like to always remember the risk factors because they're very specific. Yeah. Some deal with drugs, some deal with, um, you know, STD, some deal with, you know, all of them have different things. And, you know, like, for instance, their age is super important for minimal uh, change disease because it's most likely in children. So that's like, yeah. you can remember risk factors, even though, you know, a lot of the times when you're studying these things, the last thing on your mind is like, oh, man, why do I want to, you know, remember risk factors? But it does give you a leg up on these questions for sure. Yeah.